Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a touch counter based on TTP223 and also the TM1637 display. Now, if I touch this, the counter will start. You can also reset it with this blue smaller module. Also, this blue module can be used with this sketch. You can get the code for this by clicking the link which is below the video in the description which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. The first touch counter was which was showing the data only on serial monitor and then there was a touch, touch counter with LCD 1602. Now I'm doing the TM1637. This is a chip. TM1637 to display the touch every time you touch it. The data will be displayed either on this display or on this. The code and uh, sketch everything is the same for these except the size is different. But uh, there is an issue with this one. I have another video explaining it if case, in case if you receive it and it doesn't show the data you have to make some correction on this. Watch my other video. And also for this, also I have another video to play with this and understanding fully. And here we just show a number, so I will not gonna explain much time. So we have this TTP 223. This module is sold on eBay, and you will receive it something like this without these pens. So you have to put your own pen header, or maybe they include it for you, solder it, or you might buy this TTP 223B. This is a little bigger version, the same chip. So whichever you use, in both cases, uh, these, uh, this has ground pen and VCC. Two pen is used for powering this chip, and one pen is for the signal in this. They call it signal out, and in this one they call it IO or out pen, which is the middle one. I'm gonna explain the wiring next. Then we have also a reset, because when the counter counts and goes to some value, for example, right now this is disconnected, as you can see without the module, it's just increasing, I can just reset it. So we need a reset button to reset the counter. As soon as I connect the module, this one started, stopped, because then now this receives zero and it will not allow the change until you touch it. Let me now explain the code. This Arduino.h is part of the main library software that you download you don't have to do anything about it this line tm1637 display.h is part of the library that i will provide you the link and you have to get it as a zip and download it on your computer and include it in the uh, library folder of uh, arduino or just click on sketch include library add zip library and then point it to the zip file wherever you saved it in this case for example it's a zip it's something else but I'm just showing click and open I'm not gonna do that so this will be included this clock CLK this is pen 10 of this module that I'm connecting the display and then pen 11 is the data pen for the display and this is just a delay between the tests that we are doing I'm not gonna use it now after that we create from this class we create an instance of the class or an object we call it display and pass this clock and data to this this is as if I type here 10 and here 11 and this blank uh, array is 0 0 0 it just uh, is for blanking or clearing the screen which will be using in every time we read the data the touch module is connected to pin 2. You can change it to any other digital pin that you want. Reset pin, this will be connected to the switch, pin 12. And touch delay, this is the delay between each touch that you do. Uh, with my experience, 500 milliseconds was reasonable time for human touch. If you want a longer period, change it. But if you make it smaller, as soon as you touch, the count will continue doing it because you might not be able to remove your hand in the limited time that you put, for example, 50 milliseconds. And this variable is used internally for calculation. You don't have to do anything about it. Just customize these and change these two. Inside the setup, we use we start the serial monitor. That is the value set here. That's 9600 baud. 
this is 9600 baud mass match and then we print this text after that we uh, assign the touch pen as an input and reset pen which we have defined above as an input pull up now watch the video related to this I have explained this why you use pull ups to eliminate usage of extra resistor and then this is for the display this portion we say display dot set brightness we are setting the brightness you have to watch my other video explaining that and then 888 this just for the test we create this data and in this line we are using that 888 data that data to display 8888 on the screen to show that the system is active and displayed for three seconds wait after that clear the screen and set zero on the screen so at the beginning zero is displayed otherwise blank screen will not make sense and inside the loop we use digital read and we say go to touch pen and read the digit the digital it will be the zero or one which we call it high or low and the result will be stored here at the touch value then we check if touch value is equal high we use double equal for comparison purpose it means compare this against this if it is high which means if touch has happened then the count that we defined above was a zero now it's incremented increment mean add one to the previous value if the loop continues next time it will go two three four five every time the touch happens so this just increments it and then we set display set segment blank we clear the lcd uh, led from the previous value and then we whatever is the count we say show number this that's decimal number this value will be displayed at zero one two or three this is for the serial monitor and then delay the touch delay this is a 500 millisecond we have to wait because if the person has not removed the, the hand if this is not here we will have a lot of counts so that's for that purpose and then if the reset switch is pressed so we do digital read reset pen this is the value of the reset pen which is pen 12 when it is pressed it will be low when it's not pressed it will be high so we check it equal equal we are compare compare this uh, value that we have to see if it is low which means if the button is pressed then we set the count to zero print this on the screen which will be here this reset and then clear the led display and then show count which we show again zero and the loop continues like that let me explain the wiring this switch has two pens and the two pen one is connected to the ground the other connected the other pen is connected to pen 12. for the touch sensor we have three wires here we have signal on the left side and then VCC on ground. VCC is connected to 5 volts. Ground is connected to the ground. And the last pen which is signal, the blue, the, the green is connected to pen 2. And if you're using this TTP223, it has three pens from the left, VCC. The yellow is connected to 5 volts. And then on the right side, we have this ground connected to the ground. And the middle one is labeled as I slash O and out so this is just out connected to pin 2 so I'm just swapping this uh, module the wiring is not changed this TM1637 has four pins VCC or 5 volts is connected to 5 volts on an Arduino ground is connected to the ground and then we have two pin clock and data clock is the orange connected to pin 10 data DIO is connected to the pin 11 and the same way this module the same way it has ground vcc will be connected to and 5 volt dio and clock the same way will be connected to the same pen here is a demonstration when you reboot the device it shows 8888 including the column so you know that uh, the display is powered up and it's working and then every time you touch the touch will the counter will increase and also in the same time and also in the same time 
serial monitor also shows. You can set the time or of how long this can be touched and the count will increment. Right now I have set the time, the delay between the touch, 500 millisecond or half a second. If I touch it, it increase, but if I touch and hold every 500 millisecond, it will increase. So you can change that value in case your touch needs longer time, make it one second or longer. But if you make it smaller, as soon as you touch, the counter will increase. Let me show you. So this touch, for example, if you make it 100 millisecond, As soon as I touch it, you will see the counter, you cannot even do one touch, it will be very tough. Reset. So if you just hold it, it can just go up and up. This also can be used for some applications, but 500 milliseconds is a reasonable time with my experience to make this work for majority of touch counting applications. Let's reset it. Now let's test this blue. And reset it. And here this is a demonstration of this blue PCB smaller module that was a big one. It works the same way, the same sketch. Thank you for watching. This was how to use this TTP223 and B uh, touch uh, sensor using it with a counter with TM1637. If you like this video and learned something, please thumb up and also please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos.